guys, in this episode, Simon is going to take us through the katana. Mm. Standard choice for the UCM. Um, same again, guys. We're going to be looking at how to effectively play it. And if you fancy joining us over on beastsofwar.com, where the XLBS edition of this episode is up now, uh, you'll find out how to play against it. Oh, yes. With the Scourge, PHR, and the Shaltari. But, um, Simon, take us through it. You know, it's... Um, it's anti-tank. It is. Uh, and it's damn good against buildings. It is very good against buildings. Just through sheer weight of firepower, not through any sort of um, particular special ability. I mean, the advantage of the Katana is that it's, it's slightly less points than the Sabre, mm -hmm. but it has slightly less armor, mm -hmm. so it's easier to damage, and its gun is slightly weaker. However, yeah. it fires twice as many shots. Mm -hmm. And it's movement six compared to movement four of the uh, Sabre. So it's much faster. It's 50% far it's faster. Twice as much firepower, but slightly weaker. Yeah. So really, you don't want to be sending up against massive frontline units, mm -hmm. heavy things. However, things like these hunters, you know, these are usually rely on massive anti-tank shots missing them. Because yes. being a skimmer, you add two to hit them. Mm -hmm. So suddenly your two plus to hit becomes a four plus to hit. So half the shots miss. But we have twice as many shots. You have twice as many shots. Yeah. Suddenly you're okay. And yes, you're only energy nine with your shots. But they're only armor eight, so it's forced to hurt them. Mm -hmm. So you know, on a on a good roll, you should take out two of them. Yeah, maybe even three, depending on how lucky you get with your your, shoot, your mm -hmm. shots. Yeah. Um. So they can, you know, things like that, like skimmers, lightly armor things, they are brutal against. I mean, if we look at some of the other races, they can even do well against things like the tarantulas. Now the tarantulas are interesting because their their main weapon um, is based on the stat line of what it they're is. shooting against. Yeah. But their stat line is not particularly great. Yeah, so for them, these weapons that will tear apart ridiculously heavily armored things on twos only hurt them on fours. Still isn't bad. Yeah. But it's not great. And you, you're faster, or no, sorry, you're on the same speed, but you've got twice as many fire shots. And how do they stack up points wise? Um, um, points wise, the katanas are almost half the points cost, are pretty much around half the points cost of the tarantulas. Right, so. the tarantulas have a, have a save yeah. and have two wounds each. So if you manage to take the transfers out and lost yeah. your katanas in the process, that's not a bad trade. No, off. not at all, not at all. And you you can go toe to toe. That's actually quite an even fight. It really comes down to which way the dice fall when you roll them. Yeah, which is not bad odds, really. No. Um, especially that unit which is so devastating so much of the UCM army. Mm -hmm. You know, all your heavy tanks, your sabers, your um, gladius really fear the tarantula. These guys, yeah. while they should be wary of them, they're not really going to want to fire at your katanas. They're not a vibe. Yeah. They're not a real. Like choice, juicy target. And thing. what's the range of the katana? Katana's eighteen inches. And what's the range of the the tarantula? It's actually eighteen as well. Yeah, so it is an even. And fight they're both. Then. They can both move six inches of fire. Yeah. So it's again very flexible. Uh -huh. I mean, you. It's it really comes down to the dice rolls. But if they're firing their tarantulas at them, yeah, they're not firing them at your gladius, your sabers, mm -hmm. you know, your drone bases, all your big stuff. Yeah. Which is very, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um. So the katanas. Fill this role of being a faster, um, more nimble, more rapid firing standard choice for the UCM. If you don't want to go down the Sabre route, mm -hmm. if you've got, if you like Gladius, big, heavy, two wound tanks, yeah. then maybe you don't want Sabres as your standard choice, so you take Katanas because mm -hmm. it gives you more shot output, which is more flexible at dealing with a lot of threats. Yeah. They're also good against buildings because mm -hmm. through the sheer weight of firepower, they put out six shots. That's twice as many as the, um, as the Sabres. Yeah. And at energy nine, that's two to her buildings. Mm -hmm. Which the means energy ten is wasted against on a, buildings. On a four plus, though, so it does it does two damage points. Yeah. So one squad could potentially do twelve damage in one turn. Which is roll to take out is, a small building. Oh, for in, sure, in one yeah. volley, and mm -hmm. you can you know you can really cripple um, the larger ones. Yeah. And you, you don't have to buy a transport if you want to do that with your tactic. You can drive the one on the back of the board. Yeah, because they're they're relatively quick, aren't they? Yeah, six inches. Yeah, it's not very quick, but no. for UCM, it's pretty quick. You yeah, know? and so. I mean, against buildings, the range is much further. So they haven't got countermeasures, the buildings. Yeah. So you can hit them from turn one, come on the back of the board, slam shots into their buildings. What's their range against buildings? Uh, 48. 48. There we go. Exactly. Then. Yeah. So, I mean, they are going to struggle against anything else, probably for a, depending until to, to a late game. Yeah. But early game, they can come on firing, hit your opponent's, you know, building in their deployment zone, near mm -hmm. their deployment zone, cripple it early on, put some serious shots into it. I like that. The danger, this. of course, is though, if you start playing some of the other scenarios where you've got armored buildings yeah. with armor eight, suddenly you hurt more fours. Yeah. That's a big swing in the odds for mm -hmm. you. 
suddenly the Sabres, the Hershey number threes, is looking a lot more tasty at that yeah. point. Um, but not every snorer is going to be that. No, there's slightly flexible. less points in the Sabre, they yeah? Because yeah. um, one of the things, later in the series, we're going to be talking about choosing the right dropship and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but w w one of the one of the dropships I've always loved the look of is the likes of the Albatross. Yeah. With them being less points, if I had an Albatross that I was going to put uh, some of my, uh, you know, three mm. anti-air in it, mm. um, uh, could I stick six of them in it just to fill the load out and get them a bit further up the uh, up the? It's probably the not really worth it, to be honest, because yeah. of the heavy dropship. You're going to you, these guys want to be firing from from turn one or turn two. Yeah, a heavy dropship. You generally you don't deploy till turn two. You're not firing till turn three. Mm -hmm. But these guys probably not worth it. Yeah, drive them, on, drive them on the back of the board or bring them on the condors. Mm -hmm. It's faster. Grand. However, that said, there are some things they're not very good at. Ah, now. We've maybe touched upon it briefly. Something like the Hades. Yep. Not a good matchup for them. No. Energy 12 gun. It can hit multiple targets at once. Yep. That's twos to hurt them, twos to hit them. Mm. They're in trouble. Yeah. They used to got six shots to hit on twos against the Hades. But they're only energy nine. It's armor nine. It's fives to hurt. Yeah. They can't double damage. Not good. Anything that's really armor nine or armor 10, PHR walkers, that's a problem. Okay. I mean, armor nine, you can hurt on fives. Okay, you can chip away, that's fine. If it's a small unit, if it's something big like the Hades, definitely a no no. Mm -hmm. um, walkers, you can gang up on and just chip away on fives and sixes. Yeah. But it's not an ideal matchup. If you're firing your shots into energy or armor 10 walkers or armor 10 tanks, yeah, that's, that, that's the problem. Not a very good use of their, of their firepower. Grand. So stay right. clear of the big stuff. We're going to go into more detail in that in XLBS, where we're going to be looking at uh, how the Scourge deal with it and how the Shaltari deal with it as well. So. If you fancy joining us, hop on over to beastofwar.com, join our backstage, and come in and look for that. Okay, guys, post below if you have any comments or questions. Myself and Simon will hop on, do our best to answer them for you. We'll see you in the next video. Uh, I roll him on, and from turn one, I'd be looking to see if he was dumb enough to put himself in a big, tall building that I could see, yep. and I'd be putting shots on him. Which means I'm field. doing damage in from to him yep. from pretty far away. Does he ignore me? Does he try to take me out?